Hello science fans, today is October 21st, 2025, and winter is just around the corner. You might have heard about the polar vortex, a giant spinning top of cold air high above the North Pole. It's a normal part of our weather system sitting in the stratosphere, about 10 to 50 kilometers up. In winter, the vortex strengthens, locking the coldest air in the Arctic with the help of a fast-moving jet stream. When the vortex is strong, the jet stream flows in a tight circle, keeping cold air up north and giving us milder winters, but if the vortex weakens or wobbles, the jet stream becomes wavy, letting Arctic air escape southward. That's when places like the US and Europe can get hit with sudden, severe cold snaps and snow. So when you hear polar vortex in the news, it means a shift high above us could bring big changes to our winter weather. This year scientists are watching closely, the vortex is weaker than usual, and we could be in for an interesting winter. When the polar vortex weakens, it's like opening the door to the world's biggest freezer. Cold Arctic air escapes, following the now wavy jet stream, and plunges south into cities like Chicago or Berlin. This doesn't just mean chilly days, it can bring deep freezes, lasting. Why? The clash between cold Arctic air and warmer southern air fuels big snowstorms and blizzards, especially in the U.S. Northeast, Great Lakes and Northern Europe. But not everyone gets cold, while some regions freeze, others, under the jet stream's ridges can be warmer and drier than normal. This pattern of extremes, record cold in one place, mild weather in another, is a classic sign of a disrupted polar vortex. This winter, high-pressure systems are making the vortex unstable, increasing the risk of cold air outbreaks. Scientists expect this weakness to continue, so we should be ready for a winter very different from last year. It's a reminder that what happens high above us can change everything down here. Get ready for a season of surprises. The polar vortex isn't the only player. La Nina, a climate pattern in the Pacific, is also at work. La Nina means cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific, which shifts the jet stream northward. This often brings colder, snowier winters to the Pacific Northwest, northern Rockies, upper Midwest, and southern Canada. La Nina helps set the stage for Arctic air to move south when the polar vortex weakens. This year, La Nina is developing, adding confidence to forecasts for a colder winter in the north. The combination of La Nina and a weak polar vortex is a one-two punch for intense winter weather. But La Nina does doesn't affect everyone the same way. While the north gets cold and snow, the southern U.S. often sees warmer, drier conditions. The storm track stays farther north, so cities in the south may have a milder winter. This north-south contrast is a classic La Nina signature, and it's what we expect this year. Get ready for a winter of big regional differences. High in the stratosphere, Dramatic events like sudden stratospheric warming SSW, can shake up the polar vortex, and SSW is a rapid warming, up to 50 degree more minds in days, over the pole, which can slow, split, or even collapse the vortex. This breakdown lets Arctic air spill south, but the effects take a few weeks to reach the surface. Another key factor is the quasi-biennial oscillation QBO, a regular shift in equatorial stratospheric winds. This year the QBO is in its easterly phase, making the vortex less stable and SSW events more likely. With La Nina, an easterly QBO, and a weak vortex, the odds of a major SSW and a cold winter are higher than usual. Scientists are watching for signs of rapid stratospheric warming. If an SSW happens, it's a strong signal that major cold outbreaks could hit North America, Europe, and Asia soon after. These stratospheric shifts are the hidden drivers behind our most severe winter weather. This winter, all the ingredients for a dramatic SSW are in place. Stay tuned for possible Arctic blasts. To predict this winter, we look to the past for clues. The winter of 2013-2014 made polar vortex a household term, as repeated Arctic blasts brought record cold and snow to North America. That year, warm Pacific waters and a weak vortex, just like now, led to dramatic weather. Minnesota had its ninth coldest winter, with Minneapolis-St. Paul seeing 53 nights below zero. Wind chills plunged to minus 63 degree in northern Minnesota, all due to a displaced polar vortex. Another example, in 1981-82, a weak vortex and a December SSW triggered major cold outbreaks across the US, Canada, and Europe. 
Meteorologists use these analogs to build confidence in their forecasts. When the same ingredients come together, similar results often follow. These historical patterns show that this year's forecast for a colder winter is based on real, repeatable science. No two winters are identical, but the setup this year is strikingly similar to those severe seasons. The lesson take the forecast seriously and prepare for a colder, snowier winter. For North America, this winter looks classic, cold and snowy, especially in the north. A weak polar vortex in La Nina puts southern Canada and the northern U.S. in the crosshairs for below average temperatures. Expect more snow in the Pacific Northwest, northern Rockies, upper Midwest, and Great Lakes. Great for ski resorts, tough for travel. The wavy jet stream will steer storms into cold air, fueling heavy snow and big winter storms in cities like Chicago, Detroit, and Toronto. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. will likely see a milder, drier winter, though cold snaps can still happen. The big headline, multiple polar vortex outbreaks could bring intense, week-long cold spells with dangerous wind chills. These events are most likely when the vortex is weakest, letting Arctic air plunge deep south. Everyone in the north should have a winter emergency kit and stay alert for weather warnings. This winter, preparation is key. Europe's winter forecast is complex with different outcomes for different regions. Central and Northern Europe face higher chances of cold and snow, especially early in the season. A disrupted jet stream can send Siberian and Arctic air westward, bringing beast from the east conditions to Germany, Poland and Scandinavia. These regions should be ready for harsher, more traditional winter weather. Western and Southern Europe like the UK, France, Spain and Italy may see a mix of cold snaps and milder spells, with less snow in the south. The winter here will swing between cold and mild, rather than being consistently harsh. The key is the polar vortex. If it splits toward Eurasia, Europe could see major cold outbreaks. If it shifts toward North America, Europe might be spared. Forecasters will watch the stratosphere for clues, but surprises are likely. This winter, Europe should prepare for rapid changes and regional contrasts. Stay flexible and stay informed. A weak polar vortex can unleash powerful winter weather across Asia too. Northern Asia, especially Siberia, can get even colder, sending frigid air south into China, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan. This year, early and extensive Siberian snow cover is strengthening the Siberian high, pushing cold air further south. Northern China, including Beijing, faces a higher risk of strong, frequent cold waves and increased energy demand. Southern China may see less direct cold but could have shifts in rainfall patterns. Japan and the Korean Peninsula are also affected. Cold Siberian air crossing the Sea of Japan can bring record sea effect snow, especially to western Japan. The combination of a strong Siberian high and a weak vortex means more frequent severe cold outbreaks. These patterns can disrupt daily life, transportation, and agriculture for millions. This winter, northern Asia should be on high alert for severe cold and heavy snow. Preparation and awareness will be crucial. As winter 2025-26 approaches, all signs point to a colder, snowier season for many. Watch for news about the polar vortex and sudden stratospheric warming. These are the big signals for major cold spells. If an SSW is reported, expect the coldest air to arrive a few weeks later. Use that time to prepare. Make sure your home is winter ready. Check heating, insulation, and have emergency supplies on hand. Dress in warm layers and pay attention to wind chill warnings to avoid frostbite. Check on neighbors, especially the elderly or those living alone. Stay informed with local weather updates for the latest on storms and cold snaps. This winter could be memorable, but with preparation and knowledge, we can handle whatever comes. Understanding the science helps us face the cold with confidence. Winter is coming. Now you know why.